Good morning, God bless. My name is Michael V. Velasquez. I'm a uniform now, so it's Sergeant Velasquez. And before I get into this word, what do we want to say? If you are touched by this word, by this fire, you know, that fire is inside of all of us. But if this thing touches you, please support me. Go to the uh, YouTube, put in my email address. It's michael.v.velasquez at gmail.com. I don't want your money. I work very hard for my money. I want your support. I want to continue to bring you that fire. I want to continue to speak life into your dreams. They couldn't pay me for what I do. I'm just grateful to our God who enables me to be an enabler. And before I get into the word, what I want to tell you today is, you know, I was talking to a soldier today, and, and he was going through something. And we all going through something. In fact, if you ain't going through something, you probably ain't met for none, so this word ain't for you. But this word is for you, that's why you're watching this video. And whatever you're going through, whatever you're anxious for, whatever you're worried about, just deal with it. Just deal with it. Ain't nobody else can, can't nobody else deal with it. And you're like, oh, why me? I'm like, yo, why not? Just deal with it. All right, let me get serious for a moment. So I was talking to this soldier today, and um, it's not that he had an issue with failure, right? But he had an issue with success, and that's real. You know, a lot of people are scared of failure, but some people are scared of su success, or they become successful, and they hit a point, not that something happens, but they hit a point within themselves that they don't understand, why are they successful? Why me? Why not my brother? Why not my sister? Why, why, is, why is that? And, and that's, very, that's very real stuff. I can relate to that. And it's not that I'm better or you're better than anyone, but sometimes you just have God's favor. And if his hand is on you, you know what? It's God's will. Second thing, if it's not God, if it's God's will first, then it's hard work. Put in hard work. Be dedicated to what you do. Become tenacious. If I could choose one word you could live for, it'd be tenacity. That's not just being determined. That's not just being de dedicated. But that's being consistently, persistently dedicated and determined to do whatever it is that you do. Number three, like I said, point one, God's will. Follow his word, his will, and his way. You take care of God's business, I guarantee you he take care of yours. That's a promise. If you're going through pain, that means you're in the process. And the process leads to the promise. Believe in the promise regardless of the pain that you're going through. Part two, work hard. Hard work and dedication. Mayweather said it, hard work and dedication. Can't nobody do it for you, and I can't do it for you. You got to do it for you. Put that music up. All right, anyway, point three. Point three. It's the people that you surround yourself with. It's the people that God puts into your life that will take you a take take you to a place within yourself that you could not have possibly reached by yourself. So I'm thankful for God. I'm thankful for the hard work that I put in and for the God that He and, and for the people that He surrounded me with. I didn't get where I am by myself. Life pushed me into the corner. Life pulled me into the darkness sometimes. And I had people to show me the light. So you got to be that person for someone else. This is Transforming Mindsets, through empowerment for change. God bless you. Be effective. I know Thanksgiving is coming up, but I challenge you to be thankful for something every day. You're going through problems, but people are praying to have your problems. I know people with no arms and no legs. I know people up in hospitals right now. I know people in Afghanistan, and they dying to be where you are right now. So you know what? I appreciate you. You got to count your blessings. Count the people in your life. If you got mom and dad in your life, yo, you're blessed. Some people don't have that or they do have that and they get raised you know drug addict uh, alcohol you don't know how how good you got it until you ain't got it no more it's funny like you got the job you very happy to have the job I, I finished the word but right now I just feel a word in my heart you get the job you say good morning you know to everybody and how you doing a year later you're like I don't get paid enough for my job I hate my job I need to find a new job but I guarantee you if you lost it right now you would definitely appreciate it don't wait until that point so I appreciate it now never give up Never give in and never quit. Transforming mindsets to empowerment to change.